morning children second see here in today's video i shall be discussing about your assignment number 4 that is your project you all shall be doing some research about the topic yourself and then by following the guidelines discussed in this video writing about it in your biology notebook the topic of your project is pollution in which you all are going to study in detail about the sub topic global warming you see there are numerous human activities that contribute to the pollution of our environment causing a wide variety of problems for us humans only one such major problem is global warming in this project you all shall learn and write about global warming its causes effects and prevention techniques before we begin make sure that you all follow these rules and regulations for making the project no sketch pens or highlighters to be used for anything use color pencils instead if you have to color something if you don't have color pencils at home don't worry just draw with a sharpened pencil marks will be awarded for how neatly you have done your work and how informative it is not how colorful you have made it only black ball point pens to be used for writing you can use blue or green pens to underline something important hand drawn pictures will be preferred more than sticking pictures 1 to 2 cm thick border should be drawn on each page before you start writing on it the size of the project should not exceed 3 pages when making the project make sure you follow the following sequence in the first page on the ruled side the name of the topic and the sub topic should be neatly written the name of the topic is your of your project is pollution and the sub topic is global warming in the bottom right corner of your page your name and class should be mentioned on the white side of the first page you can draw any picture of your choice related to the topic you can decorate the page a little bit but with pencil colors make sure you do not overdo it once again i must remind you your work will be marked according to the neatness and the information provided and not how much decoration you have put into making it once you are done with the first page we shall move on to page 2 in this page we shall address the following three main questions which are what is the role of the atmosphere in maintaining the earth's temperature what is global warming and what are the main causes of global warming i will briefly tell you about it but i expect you all to read about it in detail from the links given and other sources present online do some research try to explore by yourself about this problem and write about it also draw two diagrams on the white page related to the points written your second page should look something like this as shown over here Remember this is just a sample page you all can draw whichever diagram you feel is important new ideas are always welcome okay so what exactly is this atmosphere what function does it perform i mean if it is present around the earth covering us with this blanket of gases it must be doing something right well yes it plays a major role in our survival because it helps maintain a normal temperature on the surface of the earth the atmosphere has these various types of gases called as greenhouse gases which trap some of the sun's heat making sure it doesn't get too cold during the night due to the absence of the atmosphere in the moon the temperature on its surface goes up as high as 200 degrees celsius during the day and drops down to about minus 160 degrees celsius at night the gas ozone present in the atmosphere also helps us protect ourselves from the sun's ultraviolet rays which if absent will cause skin cancer in humans however if these gases sorry if these greenhouse gases were to increase in quantity in the atmosphere they will trap more heat of the sun's uh, light than that is required and thus causing an increase in the temperature this precisely is what is called as global warming this global warming can be described as the gradual increase in the temperature of the earth's atmosphere due to the increase in greenhouse gases 
which causes more of the sun's heat to be trapped than required by the earth. Now let's talk a little bit in detail about the greenhouse gases. These gases are named so because of their ability to trap heat. In colder countries where the temperature falls down quite low during nights and in winters, plants can actually die of freezing. So these structures called greenhouses are built around the plant to help them keep warm. The structures also behave similarly to the greenhouse gases trapping the heat of the sun inside to keep the plants warm at night. So the gases in the atmosphere which trap the sun's heat are called as greenhouse gases. Some of the most powerful greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and water vapor. Any activity which can cause an increase in the amount of these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere contributes to global warming. When discussing the causes of global warming, there are numerous factors which can cause it. Deforestation being a major reason for global warming. The trees take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and give out oxygen. When we cut down these trees in excessive quantities, the level of carbon dioxide automatically increases. Improper agricultural practices also lead to increase in greenhouse gases. Improper use of fertilizers can lead to the release of nitrous oxide which is a very powerful greenhouse gas. Dead plants and animals if left out to rot and decompose in the open can lead to the production of methane which is a very powerful greenhouse gas. Next we move on to page number 3. In this page you shall be addressing the following two major points. The harmful effects of global warming and your role in reducing global warming. <clears throat> you shall also be drawing two diagrams related to the points discussed on the white page, uh, sorry, white side of the page. Speaking of harmful effects, the major problem of global warming is the ever increasing temperature. As global warming causes more heat to be trapped in the atmosphere, it causes an increase in the mean temperature, which means that if nothing is done to prevent global warming, you all will be experiencing hotter and hotter summers each year. This will continue to increase till the heat finally kills off all living uh, beings on earth. Another major, source, major problem associated with global warming is the melting of the polar caps. You see, in the north and south pole, quite a large amount of water is trapped in the form of ice. The increase in temperature due to global warming causes these polar caps to melt, releasing huge quantity of water into the ocean. This causes the ocean water level to rise, which if left unchecked will cause the shoreline areas to be submerged under water. Thus 20 years from now, you all can expect cities present near the sea to be completely submerged under water. In this picture, you all can see exactly how much the polar caps have decreased in size since 1979 because of global warming. So if global warming is such a dangerous thing, what can you do to stop it? It's quite simple. Global warming is caused due to the increase in greenhouse gases. So any step that you take to reduce the production of these greenhouse gases can help stop global warming. Cycling to school instead of using a bike or a car can help reduce release of carbon dioxide. Use of public transport instead of everyone taking their private vehicle can also help reduce CO2 emission. Just imagine the amount of smoke and harmful gases all these cars will give instead of that one single bus. Using of kitchen waste as biofertilizers and burying them in your garden will give you free fertilizers. Meanwhile, just throwing them away might cause them to decompose out in the open, resulting in the release of methane gas. Try to think of other ways of reducing global warming and write about it in your project. Make sure, make it neat, make it informative and keep it ready before the school reopens. Once the school reopens, we shall be checking the project and marking it accordingly. Till then, goodbye. Enjoy the holidays and remember to have fun.